This is Electric Universe Geology Earth News. We're going to stick with the San Juans. Here's uh, Silverton right in here, Silverton Caldera. Here's uh, Lake City over here, Lake City Caldera. Rio Grande is over here, actually it comes up here. This is the Continental Divide along here. And just south of Silverton, you have this formation right here. As we zoom in, the name will pop up. It's called Snowden Peak. It's pretty interesting. A friend of mine and I stumbled on it. Um, literally, all of a sudden we're driving up 550 and saw this formation that just stood out. So that we drove up here, there's a lake, a little side road, some parking, and looked up. I've done some research on this formation. It's quartzite. It's highly metamorphosed, pure quartz, as if it was a sand dune. And I've talked to two local geologists in Silverton, and they both think that this has no explanation other than deep burial. There's no fault. There's no uh, contact metamorphic process that would be available. This would require, starting at the surface, as some sort of a sand dune, pure quartz, going down 20 miles and coming back up again, which is quite a story. And I have photographs of this. We'll see that on this side, which I think is windward, the wind was coming from the left to the right, a little bit down, a little bit to the south. There's three pieces that are missing, three giant chunks, and you can see the layers as if it's building back and up into the wind to the left. And what's interesting, I stayed at the hostel in Silverton, also I stayed at a lot of hostels. And one of the owners is a uranium miner. I guess he's retired. And he told me that the uranium on the east side of Snowden Peak, when they fly over it, it sets off their Geiger counters. It's the hottest uranium on the planet, according to him. It may or may not be true. He seemed to be somewhat credible. But it's the freshest uranium. They don't mine it because this river runs down to Durango, and they'd probably kill everybody in Durango with a runoff that's radioactive. But it's really hot uranium on a mountain that's really obviously electrically uh, affected recently. It's been electrically affected. I'll show you the photographs now. So this is Snowden Peak. I'll, I'll post this image from my Google documents. It'll take a few minutes after I post this video. But you can see these layers are building back towards the camera as if this is windward. Same over here. It's red underneath where the material's been removed. The gray is, seems to be an exterior feature. Only electricity can account for this. There's no water available at that ridge. It's very just a drop or two when it rains. It wouldn't form in this shape. I can only see electricity coming from the same direction as windward. At the end of the process, it has to be finished when this is transpiring. If anything happened in the afterwards, it would have filled this in. So this is the end of the process, the end of deposition, and then this is removed. And it's so electrical, it rips out pieces of the mountain. It metamorphs it to the high grade caliber. Uh, lots of squeezing, lots of heating. And on the far side, there's fresh uranium, which I don't think is a coincidence. I think it's part of this. Again, the uranium is either being concentrated, pulled in from possibly millions of miles electromagnetically. It would be dusty plasma that would be in effect here with an electromagnetic event. So it would be very, very receptive to the electromagnetic field. Or it's transmutated. Uh, 50-50, maybe, 50, I don't care. So this is a, it's a pretty big place, by the way. These trees are quite large that are far away here, so this is a large mountain. Um, just an anomaly in the San Juans, that the energy was extremely high. The top of the mountains are all covered with molten, squeezed material that have quartz veins going through them. This was where the energy was, the electrical energy was extremely high here. Thank you.